Hello everyone and welcome to Club Reaction to Rangers 2 Hearts 2 in the last home game of the season. I am Scott Carney, I'm with Alex Pearson, the last one in the car for this season mate and that wasn't very good. Hey, thank Christ for that. <laughs> I know. That was um, aye, Rangers greatest hits tonight as we think of, as we said going down the road. Uh, I think there was obviously a lot of hype around tonight based on it was a lot of people's final games etc and uh, you kind of felt that walking through the game it didn't really feel like a home game at Ibrox tonight it was a rather strange one uh, maybe reflected in the, the team that we, we named as well with uh, McGregor coming back in Tavernier um, Tavernier, King, Suter, Yilmaz Lundstrom, Kamara yes, Kamara Raskin, Cantwell uh, Morelos and Sakala. Um, I don't think any of us would have picked that, mate. No, Glenn Kamara has been wheeled out from. I don't know where he's been. No, I don't know where he's been. Um, bizarre. Morelos, I kind of get it. He's his last game for Rangers, potentially. Last game at Ibrox ever. And uh, McGregor, I kind of thought as well. So, wasn't he? Was he overly shocked? But Kamara was the one we all looked at each other and went, Kamara? <laughs> yeah, Kamara. Rather strange. Rangers started the game perfectly. And by that, I mean not at all. Uh, within the first minute, mate, we're a goal down. It's just an absolute calamity, this. McGregor and Tavernier, there's no communication between either of them. Neither of them do anything to try and clear the lines or secure the ball. And it's kind of bundled into the net by Shanklin. There was a check for offside. I've got no idea where the linesman saw there was an offside. But... Uh, yeah, Alan McGregor comes back in, mate, and of course we concede in the first minute. <laughs> I've seen it all season with Rangers, this isn't a, a freak goal or anything, no. it's um, just a ball in the hard box that we fail to deal with, nobody's talking to each other, McGregor has to talk to Tav, Tav heads it up in the air and it's, uh, it's a calamity of a goal, but it's a calamity of a goal we've seen all season, Bill's seen it as well since he's been here, yeah. it was... Um, it wasn't a great start. <laughs> no, it wasn't a great start. You're almost, you're almost laughing at yeah. it when the first goal went in. You're like, ah, brilliant. Um, the first half from then on in, Rangers didn't do very much, I'm not going to lie. It became a quite quite a needly game as well. At Hearts, but a lot of niggly fouls, a lot. Any time Rangers were trying to break and falling down, yeah, faking head knocks and stuff like that as well. Beaton was lapping it up as well. He was enjoying every minute of it. I'll get it out of the way now. John Beaton is a terrible referee. Shockingly, shockingly bad. And if we'd have won that game 2-1, I'd have still been saying the same thing, I promise you that. He is dire, absolutely dire. He makes up rules within ga within the game and uh, he is he's awful, he really is. But we I think I think Sakala had a, a chance that was close at the near yeah. near post. Can't think of anything else that Oh, King had a shot from distance actually, took a bad deflection and well. Raskin had a shot as well. So we were there or thereabouts, but it became hearts dropped into a back seven um, at times, and I'm not exaggerating there, they did drop into a back seven at times, and we fell into horseshoe football. Um, before I come to the goal, mate, it was. It, it just it felt like there was no spark within the team. Cantwell was trying his hardest, it really was, but it, it was very sidey, sidey, passy, passy again. Ah, it was poor, it's, it was, it's going back to what we've seen this season with certain players on the team, it was, um, I we did lack a spark, Cantwell's only guy, he can't do it himself, Cantwell, no. times are giving him the ball and hearts, like you say, are sitting in deep and there's not much you can do, in front of him, Morelos, I didn't think was great, Sakala was having Sakala-esque moments yes, as he moments, does, yes. as he does, um, Glenn Kamara for me looked like a guy lost in the football completely park. Lost, completely um, lost. I just, I, the first half was it was it was terrible to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> I did think we were going to go in at half time one 0 down, and then Cantwell does really well to get the ball out to Morelos. Morelos plays the ball round the defender um, to play in Cantwell. The Hearts defender comes out and, for reasons best known to him, tries to clear the ball with his head when the ball's on the ground. Makes a Makes a bit of a pig of it and can't well through. Everybody's screaming for him to square it, but he very, very nicely tucks it away into the far post, mate, as he's running through. It's a really tidy goal, this. Yeah. Good finish. I don't know what the guy, the Hearts defender's doing. No, it's not it's a complete arse here. Um, I mean, we gifted Hearts the goal, they've gifted us one. But Cantwell still has a lot to do when he when he breaks three. He could square it. Probably seen Sakala was at the back post. I thought I wouldn't square <laughs> I won't that. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps going. Fantastic finish by um, by Todd Cantwell. Another goal for Todd Cantwell as well. 
and he went away to um, Stephen Naismith and gave it right into him, and I thought that would be brilliant. I love that. He's got so he's he's gallus, can't really. He doesn't care, um, and you know, teams don't like him now. Players no. target him now. Yeah. Um, he will be one for next season to watch because I think he'll be targeted by players and um, referees as well. So watch the watch the space for next season. Yeah, very much so, mate. Won't be long till he's labelled a diver, that's for sure. Um, there was, a, I say, a bat and as well between Morelos and Naismith at one point down in the touch uh, touch line. Um, and Morelos had played the ball through and Cantwell scored. Morelos didn't run to Cantwell. He ran straight over to Naismith and started giving it loud to the the Hearts bench. Um, I don't like Stephen Naismith, and I've made my my opinions on that very very clear so I thoroughly enjoyed that I thoroughly enjoyed them giving a wee bit back to him um, in the second half mate I thought Glenn Kamara would come off honestly because he didn't he just looked lost completely but we started the second half same way that we same team that we started the first and we took the lead mate the, the Fashion Sakala is a player mate that I'll never understand as long as I continue to follow football I, I don't understand the player I don't understand what he's all about here, the defender makes a bit of a mess of his header, Sakala pounces on it, takes a, a, probably quite a bad touch and then it hits, he hits it into the keeper, it kind of bounces up and over the keeper towards the goal, the Hearts defender tries to clear it, doesn't, it goes into the net but Sakala will get it because the shot, initial shot was deemed to be on target. Uh, I, I, I explain that goal. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, right. Hearts again at the back. They've, they've gifted us. The Hearts have gifted us too, and we will come on. We've gifted I, two as well. I but. wouldn't say. I would say the gifted is that one. I think the first one. Fair enough. The defender makes a dodgy, a dodgy decision, but Cantwell's finish is brilliant. No, it is, it is. But the, the, there, there are moments Hearts are in control of the ball. Um, this is another one where the guy tries to. I don't know what he does. Makes an arse it. Sakala does well to read it. He's in and goal. I, he, he hits it, it kind of bounces off the keeper and trickles in the defend like you say, tries to deal with it, it's in the back of the net by then and ah, you were 2-1 up at that point and um, I'm thinking at that point, let's kick on the Rangers, we're 2-1 ahead, Hearts need to come out because at that point Aberdeen were winning so mm-hmm. Hearts really had to win to try and get that third place. Yeah they did, um, they, 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 we really dominated I think the majority of the second half, I thought well, there was good good periods of play at times but it, bloody wasteful though we were wasteful and so were hearts with the ball when they had the ball they were extremely wasteful with it they really were still the old niggly challenges still some bookings that Be- Beaton should be making and he isn't making and uh, was kind of leading to the frustration I suppose we did then make the changes mate um, with Arfield coming on I thought the reception he got was great when, mm-hmm. he, when he came on uh, well, there was a number of changes Wright came on uh, who else come on Ryan Jack come on Lowry Lowry come on Matondo Matondo come on as well um, and obviously when Morelos come off as well he got a fantastic ovation when he came off it was good for, good for them to get the moments because they do deserve it they do deserve it for the, the service that they've gave they've gave the club uh, so yeah but as I say we were they were, we were trying our hardest to get Morelos a goal before he went off um, don't get me wrong Sakala was unlucky a couple of times trying to get the ball across to him uh, but it, it never really came to anything and then uh, yeah Rangers do what Rangers do best this season and just completely gift a goal away Ryan Jack yes you've heard me right I'm about to criticise him I don't know what he's thinking here in the middle of the park I don't know why he doesn't just keep a hold of the ball and he tries to almost switch the ball yeah. makes a complete mess of it and the panic that runs through our team mate when hearts are breaking forward and the goal itself I don't know how many players it hit before it hit the back of the net it was bound, 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 bounce about and the, the hearts player running on it slid that away past McGregor and it, it finishes to each mate and it's when we were leaving it was just like I'm so glad that I get to go home because that was just the greatest hits of Rangers this season it really was just all the problems rolled into one game yeah it's a terrible Rangers won't control the ball Rangers that second half had all Rangers were extremely wasteful that second half Rangers should have won that game probably 3-4-1 in the end yeah, up they probably, really should have yeah. extremely wasteful in front of goal as you say Carney greatest hits powder puff up front but gift goals at the back and Ryan Jack I know he's your boy and Ryan Jack is a, is a brilliant footballer for Rangers but what he's thinking I really don't know at that point just keep hold of the ball yeah. and Beaton's going to blow the whistle for some reason he tries to switch it gives the ball away and like you say it's pinball and it's in the back of the net it was um, aye it is a greatest hits of Rangers that game rolled into, into one it was um, it was poor it was very poor and um Yes, I am happy that we do not 
have to go to Ibrox for a couple of months. <laughs> you got a bit of a break from it, yeah. That did feel like that. It felt like, even though they, they added on time, I was like, that'll do, beating. Like, that'll do. Let's, let's just go. I didn't, mm. even, I didn't even think at that point Hearts cared. Everybody just wanted to go, but we still managed to give Hearts a goal. So, yeah, um, it is what it is. Um, um, tonight, it's... Uh, it's just on to the summer now, we're just desperate to get there. I think the distraction of everything else might have not helped the players and might have not helped in the, the, the changes that he made. I just didn't think were fully necessary bringing Kamara back in. I, I, didn't, I didn't see the point in it. I really don't see the point in it. Um, but yeah, a, a pretty poor performance all round. Wish I was sitting here saying something else than that, but I'm not. Um, might have mentioned me, Kieran Dow was announced before the game as well. And obviously at the end there, we've seen a wee kind of guard of honour, if you like, um, for the players that were leaving. Um, but we quick, quickly exited before the full lap of honour um, happened because a lap of honour for second for me doesn't mean anything. So, uh, But it was good to get them to get the sign off, mate, and uh, the, the kind of ovation that they got. Can you pick a man of the match? I'm struggling. I've had to pick someday. I mean, Cantwell's the obvious one. But even at that, I don't think he was. He was the, 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 the last stages of the first yeah. half. He wasn't but I think he was also looking at other players and going, Do you fancy trying to do something? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I thought George sort of was decent tonight again. I, probably, I thought King was alright as well. I'd, I'd probably give it a ask, and if, I'd, I'm, if I'm scrambling about it, to be honest, but I'm really scrambling here. I thought it was sixes across the board. The, the guard, the honour, the end carny, like you. Uh, Al McGregor, yes, for me, what a servant he's been. Um, Scott Arfield, five years servants. Uh, but the Morelos, yes, Ryan Kent, I think we'll look back, yes, they have been good servants, but. Phil Hollander wasn't there. And, Phil, Hall and Phil Hollander was there. Phil Hollander was there, but I thought it was slightly over the top, if I'm being honest, Carney. Yeah. For, uh, yes, we have won the league when we stopped Celtic two years ago, we got to a European final, but for me, it was slightly over the top with certain players. Alan McGregor, completely because of what he's been with Rangers yeah, previously as well, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Why it's why he's getting a testimonial, but I thought it was over the top um, for a team that have, let's be honest, failed us quite a lot over the last couple of years. And um, that's why I, I stood with you, Karen, when we applauded it and we left because. <laughs> I literally went. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not standing there for another 10 minutes singing songs no. um, because for me, the season has been a. It's been a disaster, for, let's be honest about it, it's been a disaster and um, next season for me, um, come around quickly. Yeah, it can't, <laughs> it can't come quick enough, it really can't come quick enough. So yeah, um, maybe not the way we wanted to finish the last home game of the season, but t tonight it was a, a particularly poor, for, for poor performance all round and both teams pretty slack in, in giving away sloppy goals, it was a, a very end of season feel, but I, I, as I say, it is what it is, it was probably more about the... The players departing, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, whether you agree with that or not, that's exactly what happened and that's the way it felt to me. So yeah, we will be back on Friday, we will bring our club live um, before the, the last game of the season, which will be against St Man on Saturday. Ali, thank you very much mate. No problem, we're back Friday and um, yes, one last game before... <laughs> the season. Can't wait, can't wait, mate. Can't wait, mate. But yeah, no, changes are coming and we know it's coming, so we just need to ride on, ride on to Saturday and then after that we're into the summer and hopefully we see some um, pretty big changes um, within, the, within the, the current squad. So, yes, that will do us. Last car pod, uh, Speed Tease on Friday. We are Club at 22, the Rangers podcast. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>